Godwin's out, and uh, you were calling that game uh, when Michelle Tafoya gave that report before Godwin got hurt that Brown was coming back. Now he's gone. Playoff Lenny might be less than. What do you make of the Bucks' chances of repeating right now as we're sitting here prior to Week 18 knowing what we know about who's at Brady and Arians' disposal? Well, they still have Tom Brady, right? I'm yes, they do. sure about that one. Correct. And um, so – when we know that Brady can go into uh, Green Bay and win a game, we're pretty sure about that one. Yep. Um, I, I think it's way too early to say they can't do it. I, I mean, they've got uh, Tyler Johnson's a nice player. Obviously, Gronk. They could go three tight ends if they wanted to, and and build the game plan. I, I think where you get hurt is when something like that happens in the middle of a game. And you have no idea. But when you can game plan around Antonio Brown now, I, I, I mean, would you rather have him? Yeah, you'd rather have him. But I don't know. Not under these circumstances. Chris Collinsworth here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Would you say Green Bay then is, in fact, b- b- not just by you know due of their one seed, but by what you have seen, including what you just saw, Chris, the team to beat in the entire NFL right now? with a week to go in the regular season? Yeah, yeah I, I think you have to go there with that team now. They, they just, they're, they've got the hot quarterback, you know, and they've got enough around it. And you think that maybe they end up getting a few of these people back, you know, that does Bakhtiari come back? Uh, does Jair Alexander come back? Um, you know, does, uh, does Josh Myers come back? Their center, I, so there's all kinds of different things out there that, that could come into play here. Um, but I think even if you just go, um, that's it, you know, we're going to play with what we have based on what I've seen, they seem to be uh, the most consistent uh, team. And, and really one of the main reasons why, I mean, the fact Rizul Douglas has been unfriggin' believable. Yes. Their quarterback, five interceptions, a couple of, Pick sixes, game winners. I mean, it's just, it's been phenomenal what this guy who is released and on practice squads has come in there uh, and done for this football team and covering up the, the whole left by Jair Alexander. So uh, is Brady, is uh, Brady Rogers, who's your MVP? Because I'm you also have all those PFF uh, pieces cool. of information in front of you, war and things like that, that you can actually put everything together, Chris. Um, and put together a, a pretty solid thought, having seen these guys in front row all year long. Who do you have for me on that? Yeah, I, I, I'm, this is how bad a boss I am. I I, I went out on national television and uh, and said <laughs> that I, I would take Rogers, and uh, obviously uh, PFF is said Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> so you know sometimes that's how that's how it works out, but I. I <laughs> I really believe, and now Brady's in a little bit of the same boat too, um, with the with the injuries and the different things. But I mean, you go down the list here of what Brady has been missing this year. I mean, Bakhtiari, Elton Jenkins, who's probably their second best lineman, the rookie Josh Myers, who was their starting center, Billy Turner now out for extended time. The only consistent player up front has been Royce Newman, the rookie. And then you have Robert Tunyon, who is his top tight end, right? You have yep. Randall Cobb, who's out now, uh, going down the list. So I, I think that as I watch them play this season without Aaron Rodgers, you go, how many games does this team win without him? And, you know, where we see Kansas City, I guess, was the game that we saw him without him. Uh, and Kansas City, obviously, is a good team, but it was the offense that just didn't score – or get it done in that game. So, um, I, 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 you know, it's the old pull them off your team and what happens to your team. PFF will tell you Tom Brady. My eyeballs have told me Aaron Rodgers, but I think it's really close. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 